This is a short checkup on a National 5 topic. It's SERDs that we're going to be looking at. There's going to be five questions that uh, I'll be asking you to look at. Um, I gave it out as a homework for my S2, S3 class. And uh, what I would like you to do is to, to try the questions and then uh, I'll show you the solutions. Okay, so first thing that you're going to have to remember about SERDs is that you're going to have to be pretty sharp with your square numbers. By square numbers, what I mean is your uh, 1 times 1. So 1 times 1 will be 1. Uh, 2 times 2 will give us 4. 3 times 3, 9. 4 times 4, 16. 25, 36. Then 49. Then 64. After 64, we're going to go for 81. And then 100. And so on. But generally, the, the numbers that we're going to be using are going to be kind of less than 10. Mostly. Mostly they're going to be less than 10 that we're going to be using. Uh, so that's the first 10 square numbers I've written up there for you. Right, let's let's go to our first uh, question and see how we, we get that one. Go. Right then, so first thing we have is to simplify to root 75. So the first thing that I'm going to think about when I see that is, I know it's going to be a surge question because I've got a square root here. Um, one thing that I would say is that uh, this part here, if you can think about that as 2 times root 75, it might help you out a bit when we try to work out the uh, the simplified version from here. Right, so looking at the, the square root of 75, I'm looking to simplify that into a square number and another number that multiplies together to get it. So if I think about all the factors of 75, so remember we've got 1 in 75, there's a pairing. Uh, 2, no, that's a, an odd number, so, so 2 won't work. 3, and if I divide 3 into this number here, so that should give me 25. 4 won't divide into it without a remainder. Uh, 5 will, so I've got 5 and I've got 15. 6 won't, 7 won't, no. I've, I've got all the factors there, there's all my factors, and they're kind of paired up uh, here. If I look in the, the list that I have here for my square numbers, well, one's a square number, but one never helps me when I'm working with uh, with subs here. Uh, the 25 is the square number that I'm going to go for, so 25 and 3 is the way I'm going to split the 75 up. Right, so I've got 2, and it's times square root. I'm always going to write the square number first, square root 25, and then the next one I'm writing is its partner that uh, multiplies together to get the 75. Just bear in mind that these are all multiplied across the way there. So here I've got 2, and I know that the root 25 is going to be 5, and that's going to be multiplying by root 3. From there, the simple way to do it is just multiply the, the numbers I have that are here, so that's going to give me 10 root 3, and I can't simplify root 3 any further. That there is going to be my final answer. I'll give two marks here. I'll give one mark for making sure that you split the uh, the 75 into the 20, root 25 and root 3. And I'll give one mark there for the uh, 10 root 3 as a final answer. Second question. Okay. Right, so what we have here is we're going to express root 40 plus 4 root 10 plus root 90 as a third in its simplest form. One thing I need to remember again is that when I'm adding or subtracting thirds, I must have the thirds to be the exact same number that's inside the square root. Well, what I can see here is I've got a root 40, a root 90, and a root 10. Quite often in this type of question, we get a bit of a clue. If we've got one of these that's in its simplest form, then that number is going to be the one that's going to help us out. If I look at this one here, that's as simple as I can get it. I can't simplify 10 into a square number and another number that multiplies together to get it. So that one there is going to be my clue to help me work out these other two. So if that's a 10, dividing 40 by 10, that would give me 4. So that gives me a square number. So 4 is the square number. So that's 4 root 10. Over here with 90, uh, if I divide that by 10, then that will give me 9. So that will be the square root of 9 and the square root of 10. So I've got the square root of 10 in all of these. So all I'm going to do is, with these numbers here, I'm going to get out the square root of them. Square root of 9 is going to be 3. So what I have here is, I've got 2 root 10, 
plus 4 root 10 plus 3 root 10. So if I think about it, I've got two of them here, four of them there, three of them there, gather them all up. So that'll be six, that'll be nine. So I've got nine of them and the root tens that I'm, I'm working with. There we go. So nine root 10 for that answer there. Match for this one. I'll go for simplifying the root 40 to two root 10, simplifying the root 90 to three root 10, and finally gathering together. That will be three marks that we've got there. On to question three. Simplify leaving your answer as a third. So all known calculator work. So no need to use a calculator for them. We're not looking for decimal answers here. We're trying to simplify the thirds down. Okay, so again, uh, on this question here, I can see a clue that I've got. That there's going to be my clue, that root five. And then what I'll do is I'll be subtracting because I'll have a root five out of the 20. So let's simplify 20 down into a square number and also a number that, that multiplies to, to, give her, to get that. So what I've got is I've got two outside. I'll just write a multiply sign there. And the roots that I'm going to break that into will be four and five. And then I've got the three root five that's left here. So there, as I say, my clue. So that was a root five in its simplest form. If I got simplified this one down, that goes into root four, root five. And there, they're matched up. What I'll do is I'll uh, take the square root of four, and that's going to give me a two. Not changing anything else here. And what I'll do is I'll multiply these together. That'll give me four root five minus three root five. So I've got four of them, take away three of them. Well, that would leave me with one of them. It's one root five, but generally when we would write a root, uh, it would just be root five would be my final answer there. Okay, for this question here, I'll go for one mark for getting to the two root five that's there. I'll get another mark. I'm going to give another mark there for going for the four root five once you multiply that all out. And one mark for gathering it. I would accept one root five at this stage, but I would rather see you doing the uh, root five as a final answer. Three marks for that one as well. On to question four. Right, for question four, we've got a, a, a simplify of a fraction third. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of doing this one. Um, because uh, it's not as simple as some of the other ones that we've, we've done with, um, with working out uh, division of thirds. Right, first way that I'm going to try and do it. Okay, I'm going to be simplifying. And usually the best way to do thirds like this is to simplify the top and the bottom, if it has to be, into a root. Okay, so the first way that I'm going to do it, I'll take it over here to the left. Okay, I'm going to simplify that there by thinking about a square number and a number that multiplies to get it. So on the top line, I've got root 4, root 6. That's all over root 2. That's as simple as I can get the, the root at the bottom, root 2. So I'll, um, I'll work this one out. I'll take the square root of 4, which is 2. So I've got 2 root 6 all over root 2. From there, what I'll go for next is, well, if I see a root 2 on the bottom and I want to try to get rid of that root 2, what I could do, I could split the 6 up. I'm going to split it into root 3 and root 2, because 3 times 2 gives me 6. And I'm only doing this to try to get rid of that root that's on the bottom to make it as simple as I possibly can. Uh, normally, I'd be splitting into square numbers, um, but there's no square number with 6. Here, that allows me to divide the top and bottom by root 2, and it leaves me with my final answer. So that should give me an answer of 2, 2 root 3. Okay, That's the first way that I'll show you how to do it. Next way, let's look at a different way that it could be done. Right, from here, what we'll go for is... There's one of the rules that we have with uh, with thirds when we're either multiplying or we're dividing. Um, especially here with dividing the, the roots. I can combine the root as a big root all over a fraction. So I'll have the 24 on the numerator and on the denominator I'll have a 2. So I can do that there. Then what I can do, and sometimes with these questions, uh, when we do the division, it works out to be a nice square number. 
but uh, th in this case it's not really. This this just gives us a square root of 12. But, but that helps us and it seems to be a bit easier than what I've done over on this side here. So if I take the square root of 12 and uh, what I can do with that, I can break that into a square number and another. I'll go for root 4 and root 3. Because 4 times 3 gives me 12. And then from there, I'll take the square root of 4, which gives me 2. And root 3 is as simple as I can make it. And that's the same answer as I had over on the left here. Right, let's look at another way of doing it. Right, what we can do is, again, I could break the root 24 down into a root that's got 2, because I could divide 2 into that 24. So, you know, if I think about it again, what I could do is I could split that into root 12 and root 2. Again, neither of these is a square number, but again, it's going to help me to, to sort out this root 2 that's on the bottom. So from that there, I can see that I've got a root 2 on the bottom, a root 2 on the top. What I'll do is I'll just divide them by root 2, top and bottom, and that will get rid of them for me. That leaves me with root 12, which is similar to what I have here. And then I'll just uh, solve that by getting square number and the other, and that's going to be 2 root 3 as a final answer. So, so I've got a couple of options when I do a question like that. Um, if I just stick to one of the strategies that I know best, then that, that would be the way I'd go forward with this one here. March for this one. Okay, here we go. Let's see. The best way to go for it would be... I'll get a mark here for going for the 2 root 6, or that would also include the, let's see, the root 12 and the root 12 here. So that's where that mark would be on this line here. And then the final mark for getting the answer. Okay, so I'll just go for two marks for this question here. Last question. Right, so a bit of a problem solving question here. Uh, what we've got is we've got uh, a rectangle. I need to work out the area of the rectangle and I've been given the length of the rectangle and the breadth of the rectangle. Now, to start this question, if I have to work out the area, the area of a rectangle, I know that the area is equal to the length times the breadth. Okay, so that's where I would start. Then what I would do is substitute the length in. So the length is root 12. And that's times root 6. And if I multiply them together, I can gather the thirds in together. So, so 12 times the 6 will give me square root of 72. From there, um, that would be one answer, but I'd be really looking for this one to be in its simplest form. So in its simplest form, we would simplify that into a square number and another. The square number I would use would be 36 and 2. So that's the biggest square number I would use. Okay. And that should give me an answer of 6 root 2. And if I include my units, so I'm working with centimetres, I know it's area, so that's going to be square centimetres. And that's me finished there. One other option you might have had for the 72, for this one here, might have been to think about square root of 9 and the square root of 8. That would give you 3 root 8 but that wouldn't be the simplest form. You would then need to simplify the root 8 down that bit further. And what we would get from there would be a 4 and a 2. Because 4 times 2 gives us 8. That would give us 3 times 2, root 2. And at the end, that would give us 6 root 2 square centimetres. Okay, a bit, a bit of a longer way to go for it. A more efficient way if you pick the, the largest uh, square number. And that would be that question complete. Right, marks for this one. What we've got is going to go for three marks. I'm going to give uh, one mark for knowing to multiply these two together. Give one mark for getting the root 72. And final mark would be for the 6 root 2. I'd prefer you had the units with it, but if you don't have the units this time, I'll, uh, I'll give the mark for, for that. So that'd be three marks for question five. So in total, for the five questions, that's 13 marks 
that you'd be trying to tight get. You'd be trying to do these within 10 minutes. I'm sure I've gone over 10 minutes, but I'm trying to explain how to go through this. Um, 10 minutes would be a good target to, to complete it. So, wish you all the best with uh, your SUDS work at National 5.